All right, so I'm going to introduce a symbol which everyone else uses, which is just S, the total distance traveled. And then I'm going to plug this velocity here into there. In fact, it was particularly easy because we already had V minus U. So we could just go straight in and plug in our AT. And that's the second equation we use to describe how things move under constant acceleration. And so we can see this curve here is quadratic because it goes as time squared. Now there's a third equation that people use, which is really just a rearrangement of these two. What we're going to do is we're going to try and eliminate time. And so from this equation here, if we divide by acceleration instead of by time, we get... And then we're going to plug that into here. So we just expand out the first bracket and then the second bracket. And then we note that that term cancels with that term. And we note that this term half cancels with that term. And we've got two things left. And if we multiply both sides by 2a, and that's our final equation relating the initial and final velocities and how far you travel for a constant acceleration.